Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I decided to play some Tron Deadly Discs for the Intellivision. Uh, this is obviously based off the movie Tron. Uh, there was uh, three games, I believe, three official games made for the Intellivision. Um, the other two, I like the one's the Intellivoice. Uh, I don't have that one. Uh, I probably have it actually on my flashcard, but I don't actually own that one. And then there's a Mazatron, which is a little more tricky. This one's kind of fun. I, I played this one a little bit when I was a kid. You're, you're literally just throwing discs at uh, your opponents. Um, let's see here. Now, the tricky thing about this game is you do have to stop your character from um, moving, essentially, and then fire in the direction of which you uh, press on the keypad. So the directions are all listed on your overlay. Ooh, two for one there. I believe I can... Stop the doors from closing by hitting it with my disc. But yeah, you can't... Um, if you're running, you can't throw the disc. So you have to stop. And then you have to push the right button. So you're kind of like shuffling around. Now there is a way to remedy this. And that's by uh, playing, the, playing with two controllers. If that's the type of thing you like to do. Um, you know, hold one player one controller or whatever the, the right hand controller and use that one to move your character and then the other controller to um, fire the disc. I mean, it just takes getting used to. I, I'm playing this with one controller right now. And I believe, I, I, I remember I should say running into this um, type of issue when I was programming the games, some of my games, like, uh, for instance, Food Fight and um, Gunfight. Uh, so when I programmed Gunfight, I actually programmed it the first time when I created it. I um, just gonna hit reset here. The first time I created it, I was using the buttons the same way. You well, only, um, I chose to do right down the middle. So if you wanted to fire up, shoot up in the uh, up in the air kind of thing, or, or to the, or I should say, if, I, if you wanted to shoot to the right, um, you just had to be facing right and then push the uh, middle button. And it would shoot directly to the right or push the top button, number one. Uh, no, sorry, number two. So all the buttons in the middle of the keypad, essentially. 2, 5, and 8, and it would, based on that, it would either shoot it up into the corner or shoot it directly like that to the right. And then if you needed to shoot in the other direction, you'd just turn around and do the same thing. Um, and then I ended up changing it to um, using the disc instead, a combination of disc and um, button to actually read the disc and the button at the same time. So it does get, uh, you, you really have to figure out uh, how you want to program these types of games. It has something to do with the way the disc reads um, the paddle control or the disc controller and how it reads. It can't read the two at the same time type of deal. But it's kind of a strange one, but I mean, now I can hit that green. Oh. Maybe I have to hit them when they're blue. I'm trying to keep the doors open. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Thought I'd be able to warp out, but didn't let me. The other thing is, you have to obviously wait for your disc to come back if you want to um, fire another disc. <laughs> you get one disc. 
and um, you can tell if it's going to hurt them or not based on the look of the disc. So if it's a square, like that means it's returning. If it's a that type of thing, or just like a slice, then it's um, ah, then it's lethal. It's actually going to destroy them. So unfortunately, the disc returning back to you does not do any harm. It's only when it's uh, going away from you. Oh. But it seemed like the Intellivision had like a you know a pretty good run with the, with this franchise and, and made some pretty good games. I know there was one that was actually just released for. Um, um, it was like a compilation with all the games on it, and I think I, I I don't know if they've made a new game or if there was a new and new Tron game made or if they used a prototype. I didn't really look into it too much, but I know that there was something just released from um, I'm gonna say probably in Television Revolution, or it could have been in Television Collector. I I, I know there was something released. Oh yeah, you can block too when you if you don't have the uh, you can push the middle key and then you can block a, a disc. So I guess if you want to do that rather than try and get out of the way. Hurry up, disc. Oh. And I read in the manual that if you uh, push the if you miss you could push a button and it comes back faster. And at some point you're supposed to reach the recognizer. I don't know if I've ever gotten to see one yet um, playing this game. Like, I didn't play this game very much on my channel, I don't think. Maybe, maybe some of my live... Oh, that's how you go through the bottom there. All right. I think on some of my live plays, I might have played this game. And I did a video a while back, quite a while back. Oh, is this the recognizer? Here, there it is. Apparently, I have to hit it in the eyeball. Ooh. Oh, I'm stunned. <laughs> Crap. And that was the recognizer. It just comes out to repair the doors or something like that. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the only time I remember really playing this game was on uh, my video where I compared it to the Atari 2600 version. Um, which was, I believe, also made by an INTV Corp, which was the Intellivision uh, people making games for the Atari. How do I turn, turn back? There we go. Give it another round. I mean, it's a simple game. There's not a, there's no sound effects. I maybe the uh, one that was released in the compilation maybe they they did some edits to it you know like uh fix the game up a bit I'm, I'm not sure like i said i didn't look too much into them into that compilation that came out whoa but yeah it, it does have the uh the intellivoice one which is one i don't own I do have the Mazatron, which I've tried to play. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> it's a tough one, the Mazatron. You die now. Okay, they're all at the bottom there. Whoa. And from what I read in the manual, the, uh, the enemies come in different colors. And that's basically their personality of uh, they're either a good shot or they um, 
some of them take more hits to kill. Some are more accurate than others. Let's go down here. Oh. I, am I playing on like the slow speed here? Fred. I'm also using, um, like I've been using on a lot of my videos lately, the long play controller instead of the original Intellivision controller. I'm playing this on the Intellivision 2 because um, it's just easier to use this controller on the Intellivision 2 as it just plugs right in. Versus if you want to get it connected to an original Intellivision, you're going to have to uh, get that extra wire to connect. Well, maybe that's how you do it. You have to, okay, maybe that's how you have to break the wall or whatever. And then you can escape. I heard, uh, I read that going through those escape things will uh, heal you up too. Whoa, whoa. Come back faster. <laughs> Gotcha. Whoa. The Atari 2600 version plays very similar. Um, I don't know if it has the recognizer in it. I think that's the one thing it's missing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yay. <laughs> Just like Pac-Man, where you can go through the end edge of, of the screen and then come out the other side. I like how they, uh, they, they break up when you kill them. They're just sort of like uh, Venture. You die now. Crap, I'm waiting for my disc to come back. Here comes that recognizer guy again. Okay, so what I understand is you have to wait for its eye to turn white. Or you can or you can hit it. Whoa, it's got that guard there that's blocking you from. Ah, oh, I was just right, just, just a few pixels too high. He's a tough one. I know some people are just a lot better at this game than I am. But if you're really into these type of shooting games, it's a little bit different, you know, it's like a... Uh, it's like a shooter style game. Just waiting for that disc to come back is brutal. Just, just stand there right in front of him. Wait till my my disc came, and then I, I killed him. I remember my friend told he he always told me that uh, when he was younger, he just wished he had an Intellivision just to play this game. He he had it for the uh, I don't think no I don't think he had it for the Atari. He had an Atari twenty six hundred. Well, actually, he had a. I think he had a Gemini, which Coleco Gemini, which plays Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. And he kind of, he, he told me that uh, this was the one reason why he wanted, he wished he had an Intellivision, was to play Tron.
you know, we all kind of had that experience. I, I wanted a ColecoVision just so I could play Smurf. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't have a ColecoVision when I was a kid, but I, my, my uh, friend did, friend of the family. They had one. And uh, I played Smurf on that, but I didn't go over to their house all the time. So, I mean, well, I did, I did for, for lunchtime, but not enough time to, to play video games. Whoa. Go through here. Run. <laughs> I always forget I can throw backwards without having to turn around. It doesn't care which direction you're facing because it's only going to go in whichever direction you push. Yeah, here comes the recognizer again. Run. Whoa! <laughs> he just literally squished me. I believe the game is over when he does that. Could be wrong, but I think he kills you. He repairs the door, I know that. Finishes his job and then gets lost. Game over. That's what I thought. Anyways, yeah, this was uh, Tron Deadly Disc for the Intellivision. It's a fun game. I, I, I always recommend it as one of the greater games that came out, uh, earlier games that came out for the uh, Intellivision. This and, and Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, if you really like that type of uh, shoot 'em up type of game. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. We'll talk to you later.